Hi everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we're just going to a very quick swatch of these Cien or Cien polishes from Lidl, Spain. And I think they're all um, available all over Europe. So if you're interested, please keep watching. And we also have a uh, swatch of their gel polish, gel polish, which was actually quite excellent. So we're gonna link the video at the, the end of the video if you're interested. This is the bottle of their gel polish. Doesn't need a base coat. And it's good. It's good. It's, it's good. really, really good. Very good black. Yeah. All right. So in today's video, French look rose, berry, berry, oh my God. Berry bliss. Passion. Oh. Metallic rose. Number 13. Number 14 is red carpet. <laughs> And 15 is 15, it's called Nude Brown. The reason why I can't see is because this is kind of a natural lighting. So you can see the colors a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna put the real lights on. Yeah, there's, there was a lot of glare. Yeah. Okay, let's switch this very, switch, swatch this very quickly. So this is uh, a their base coat, two in one base coat and nail hardener, base coat and top coat. Wow, so wow. this is like three in one. Goodness. It's not possible. And we're going to be doing these on the famous nails. The famous nails. All right. Let's do a base coat, very, uh, very thin coat. And I'm going to kind of tell you exactly how, what I think about it. First of all, the brushes are incredible. Very soft. And... So they really spread the polish very, very nicely. And we'll see how quickly this dries. Uh, we're gonna do a test wear now because we're gonna do another video after this. So no wear test. But mm -hmm. if you're interested, please let us know. The other polish lasted really, really a long time for nail polish and looked good. The gel one. The gel effect. Mm -hmm. yep. Gel effect. Because none of these products are actually gels. Right. They just look apparently like gel, which they don't. You know what? Which reminds me, we should do the video gel versus gel. <laughs> gel versus gel. Right? Right. Am I making sense? Yes. We just did shellac the other day, so I'm just afraid that this has... Okay, this is drying very quickly. It's a little sticky. Right. But normally you would polish the other hand. So we're going to give it another minute and see how this dries. It looks like it's drying very, very well. It is important to dry the polish in between the coats. This way it um, dries better overall. And when it comes to quick drying top coats, the thing that is quick drying is the actual top coat. Yep. Because I really don't think how the top coat can dry the polish underneath. You still have to dry the nail polish mm -hmm. underneath. All right, French look rose. Okay, so this is not rose. It should be French look beige. Maybe it's supposed to be more of a white rose. Oh, that's true. Ah. So this is sheer. So Laurent asked me or asked us this question, why would companies make sheer nail polishes? Like he kind of doesn't understand the concept. And a lot of people don't understand the concept because they they would take this nail polish and do like four coats to fully cover the nail. Yeah. Well then go, go with opaque polish. So the reason why companies make sheer polishes because some people like sheer polishes. Because for, for example, for me, I don't want to cover my nails. I want to give them like a, a certain look that's not necessary, a very opaque look, very soft look. So that's why you, you would have sheer um, roses or beiges. So the nails just look a little done, but not overdone, not like super painted. Also, the reason why some of my clients like sheer nail polishes is because you don't see how they grow out. You don't see the grow out as much, right? Because it's more sheer. Berry Passion is next. We're gonna take some pictures outside to show you guys how how these polishes look in uh, the light. In the daylight. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is 
Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. These polishes are actually impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. And you know, just, okay, some, po wow, some polishes go on this well without a base coat. Because when you're putting uh, a nail polish on the dry nail, it kind of mm -hmm. grabs a little bit better. It doesn't give you that resistance. So for this to look like this on one coat, it's incredible. Okay, so number 13, metallic rose. It's just too bad that they don't have like uh, more colors because these colors are very, very, I don't want to say boring because they're very classic and I love classic. It's just they're very limited. It would be nice if they had, this is also very, very impressive. Uh, it would be nice if they had like collections, right? Like summer, spring, mm -hmm. winter collections like a limited editions because i get it you know you can't sometimes carry the whole nail polish collection okay what's the name of this one nude something nude brown number 15. i can see that the the uh, barrier one is drying already Hmm. Just yeah. amazing, eh? Mm -hmm. And considering that it's such a streaky color, this, I mean, your nail is, has oh, like the oh. streak in it. So let's not judge the polish, but um, it's not bad. The name again, which I always forget. Red carpet. The 14th wow. red carpet. Wow. 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 Someone is paying attention. And this is going to be amazing. So this is like a um, blue based red because you can see that you can see the pink here. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. But I mean, look at that. Oh my God. Look what you did. What? what? You moved I didn't... and you spit on the nail. Sorry guys. This is inside, I didn't move. I didn't spit the joke. on the No, you did. I did nothing. You should take the blame so I don't look bad. Okay, such a beautiful. Oh you guys see what I have to put up with? I know, right? Like, I'm just sitting here minding my business, just chilling out. Just spitting on the nails. I'm not doing nothing. Okay, oh. so this is absolutely gorgeous red. Yeah. Um, this is going too difficult to be too clean. I feel bad for Laura right now because she's watching me. She's had to probably bust out the vodka. Start doing shots. Okay, and I'm not going to uh, try to fix it anymore. I'm just going to go lay down with acetone. This this is beautiful red. Yeah. Beautiful red. Okay, you know what? I'm going to, although they're drying, I'm going to give them... Give them a couple minutes. A few minutes because... And I'm going to clean this in the meantime because that's what we always do. We, we dry... Um, between the first and the second coat for uh, about five minutes. So this is what I'm going to do to give them a really fair review on how they're drying. Right. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean up that poor nail. All right, it's been three minutes. I can't wait any longer. Because we have such a pressing day. Oh yeah. We sat in the sun for half a day thinking about what videos to do. And eating all the good stuff in life. Yeah. Like a donut that was absolutely rammed full of Nutella. Like half a container of Nutella was inside this donut. It was glorious. The one thing I don't like about this polish is the, the lids. But the, the actual brushes themselves the brushes. Are, are... Yeah, the lids are not bad, actually. Yeah. You know what? They're not bad at all it's just that some of them pull you can pull them out these mm. ones you can't so you can't shake them in the shaker this is beautiful for fall beautiful for fall your fall for fall can you please not move i'm not moving you were you were looking behind you my hand was not moving 
My head moving is nothing more than a visual distraction. You shouldn't be looking up over here. I'm not looking. You should be looking down here. I can see everything. Are you Nostradamus? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna rain tomorrow. Hmm. No, we usually do like two, three minutes between the coats and five minutes before the top coat, yes. I forgot what we normally do. Darn. So much for your so Nostradamus. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that's memory. I don't have good memory. I can see the future, but not the past. Actually, it came out a lot better than I expected. That what? was kind of impressive. Just what you said. Yeah. Thank you. I'm a genius. Well, what I wouldn't can go I that say? far. I wouldn't <laughs> go that far. Okay, the red is a winner. Mm -hmm. If you want a good red, get this polish. Oh, Meta sent me a picture. I don't have it here. Maybe I do. I can find out. They have some kind of uh, tr two treatments available from from uh, Thien. Should I pull it out? Yeah, as these ones are drying. I don't know. Okay, so this is what she sent me. If you guys can see. So Calcium Builder base coat. They also have calcium, by the way. So it's just a fancy marketing thing. Bright nails. Oh, nail bright pink. Okay, if this was, okay. Can anyone, glow. Glow pink, look. Oh my God, it's so amazing. Ooh. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, let's try this again. Our little doesn't have it. I'm very, extremely interested in this. How can I get it? Do they have a website that you can purchase? No, on? I've looked already. Oh. Okay, if this was a Dior dupe, I would die. No, I wouldn't. I would no, be very happy. Die. You'd probably get like 10 bottles. Yeah. And then this put it up on our Amazon store. Ha ha. Yeah. <gasps> Which, okay. by the way, guys, so, we have in the uh, description box down below, we have the links to our Amazon stores. We have three. We have one for the U.S., one for Canada, and one for Spain. Go check it out. Mm -hmm. How do we get this nail polish? Guys, help us out. Mm -hmm. help. Yeah, can you please let us know? Team so effort. this was in Denmark. She was telling me that this is in Denmark. Denmark. Okay. So I'll look for it, and I will definitely compare it to Dior. We may have found a dupe, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Okay, anyway, let's see how the nails are. Yes. Hmm. Ooh, that felt a little, yeah. a little tacky. tacky. Yep. Okay, let's uh, very quickly just clean up the edges and we're not gonna um, ask you guys to watch the paint dry. We started at three minutes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this should be ready, no? No, we're going to give it another two minutes because yeah, I'm getting confused already. I always suggest drying the the nails, the polish in between coats really well. It's okay. It's not super quick drying, which is fine too, because I find sometimes yeah. polishes that dry quickly don't last that well. But it's it's not bad. I mean, It's not bad. It's yeah. not. I mean, if we were to do a scratch test right now, I don't think it would fare well. No. But, I mean... Even still, we've had polishes and, and some of the more high-end brands that in this time frame would still be very uh, wet to the touch. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's pretty good. Okay, the top coat, I mean, this product is a top coat because it's two in one or three in one. It's going on very, very well. Mm -hmm. I'm sure partially it's because of the brush. It's mm -hmm. very smooth. Yeah. Like overall, like, I think these are really good. Yeah. And for the price, like, you really can't go wrong. Like, I mean, this out does... If you like the colors, then definitely... And that's, I think, the downfall is, is yeah, the... Yeah, very limited. limited. ...colors um, and, and such odd ones, really. They're very kind of classic, you well, know? Well, it's classic, but I mean, like, not even the classic of the classic. Like, maybe the red, okay, but... And the rose one, but the other ones There's are just kind pink. of a little out in the ether, you know? It's like, uh... The, the rosy one is a little outdated. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so the top coat, so far, application-wise, is it's very, very good. It's as if it 
applied like the base coat. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we'll see yeah. how this dries, okay? Just so this doesn't confuse us. And we're gonna give it five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, a little bit of that top um, polish transferred, but. Oh dear. This is really nice. This is like a very soft white. So if you don't have nails that are um, reggy, I think it's a it's a really good color. I wish it was a little bit less beigey, because sometimes I mean I have this fear of uh, uh, smokers' nails. So I wish it was a little bit more white. You realize you're pinkish. converting people over to that that view you know when i know when, i know when you i'm sorry certain things being, i ruined it for someone you have I'm really sorry you really have actually i think it's more than one at this point where yeah. you mentioned that now they can't it's like they once can't. you see it you, you can't, can't unsee it yeah i'm yeah. very sorry good so, job yeah okay we're gonna give them uh, five minutes to dry and we'll be right back here we are five minutes yeah five minutes is quite wet oh dear like normal wet you know Oh dear. Yeah, it's okay. So do you want to give it another five minutes? Yes. All right. Uh, they look very nice and shiny. Still tacky. Um, quite, quite tacky. Yeah, oh, quite, quite wet. Mm -hmm. Lordy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is slower drying. Mm-hmm. Um, not even gonna, I, yeah, as you can see. Jeez Louise. Yeah, but I find sometimes the slower drying polishes are more shiny. Mm -hmm. So this could be the case. The other one dried pretty quickly, no? We have to look back on the video. I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Already. Uh, we're gonna give it 20 minutes test. Sure. Okay. 20 minutes later. Mm -hmm. Okay, 20 minutes they are dry to the touch. Ooh, Still not dry. Very dentable. Okay, the white is a little bit more dentable. This one's more dentable. Okay. We're not going to use a quick dry spray because, as we know, they actually make things worse. Things worse. Not better. Not better. Okay, so, you know, it's not a fast drying polish. We can establish that, but, but it's a beautiful polish. Mm -hmm. So if you have time, and you have the patience, yeah, try it out. And if you don't out. have money, this would be a good choice because this was like mm -hmm. Euro eighty uh, ninety something. Two so euros. for all you you know college kids out there, they're on a budget. Yeah, so this like this is be... like four euros or something. Yeah. You know, combination because you have a base yeah. and top. This one was cheap too. Yeah, this was very cheap. So I mean, you know, this could be a, a, a viable option for yeah. some of you out there, right? Or those who are just simply on a budget in general, yeah. or just don't want to spend a lot of money on a nail polish. On your nail polish, because you're frugal. Yeah, and that's fine. Alrighty, guys, let us know what you think about this brand, mm -hmm. and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Ciao. It was your fault. It was not. Just say it. ceases to amaze me what you can flood an area and then be able to clean it up so so well oh. like, look at this. like it never happened didn't happen kind of, kind of.
So what do you guys think of the colors? Leave a, uh, a comment on what you think. Mm -hmm. You like them, you hate them, you buy them. You so buy this, them. What, I, what I'm doing is I am using an acrylic brush that obviously was never used for acrylic. And I'm gonna pull this here because it's driving me crazy. <laughs> um, and I dip it in pure acetone mm -hmm. and just wipe it off now. Now dip it in acetone again. And this really cleans up the nail perfectly. Yeah. And now we're gonna give the nails another couple minutes mm -hmm. to dry. And don't forget, guys, if you do have a sable brush like this, make sure to put some oil in it. When oh you're yeah. Done. So what I do is when I'm done, not every time, but every you know maybe a couple of times, and just drop a little bit of oil on the hand. And you're just going to rub it in. Yeah. Rubber, rubber. And then I just wipe it off. Yeah. Because this way the bristles get nicely moisturized. Oiled, actually, not moisturized. Oiled. And it keeps your bus, uh, br bus. brush mm -hmm. trained. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure that you don't, you know, damage the point. Mm -hmm. That's a key feature to, to, to that. A good brush. Yes. Okay. Two more minutes and then we'll do the, the, um, the top coat. So this is what, 67, 80, an hour and a half. Yep. What do you think? Hmm, I don't know. Dentable, I think. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's an Wow. Craziness. This is kind of like shocking, almost. Shocking. Do you want to do a scratch test? No. No. I think this kind of says it. Okay, everything. I'll do it. I'll do it. This one's a little bit better. The white one took longer. Mm -hmm. It's disappointing. Because so far, I really like the polish. Oh, well, that one's yeah. so far the toughest. This oh, one is going to go. It's going to go. Back in. Well, the one that held the best was... Yeah, so if you have one. three hours to dry your nails, then <laughs> definitely try the nail polish. I mean, th this was at a point that you could kind of go about your day for the most part. Yeah, and not yeah. Not any problems Because you didn't ruin anything. No. It's just that... Now, that's to say that if you were to do your nails, uh, you know, an hour and a half out before going to bed, there's a good chance when you wake up in the morning, you're going to yeah. have bed sheets, uh, bed sheet marks mm -hmm. in your um, polish. Yeah. Uh, also, if you're, you know, reaching to your purse to grab keys or, you know, mm -hmm. uh, reaching to your you know, pocket to grab something, you're probably going to muck yeah. them up. Yeah. And I said muck, not the other word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The mu, uh, not the fu. Yeah. Okay, but so far, no no shrinking or anything like no. that. Would I still suggest it? Yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. I, I would still suggest this as, as a great budget-friendly uh, polish. Yeah. For those in need or want, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so, in any case, in there any you case, go, guys. Let us, know, let us know what you think. We're very curious. Yeah. Talk to you later, guys. See you later. Bye. Ciao.